making a stone age axe shouldn't be too hard first thing you want to do is press shift a add a mesh and add a not a cube actually add a cylinder i don't know what i'm doing um you can check the vertices here uh, i'm gonna set mine to eight because i want it to be really low poly once you have that you can press tab to go into edit mode and then press s to scale and then shift z to scale on the x and y axis like this and now you're gonna have kind of a thing you're gonna hold it by forgot the name of it who cares and then you can select these two top faces by pressing 3 on your uh, keyboard to go into face select mode and then shift right clicking to select them press S Z to scale on the Z axis and you want something like this I guess okay so for the blade of the axe or the head of the axe you want to actually go into object mode by pressing tab and then pressing shift A and adding a cube. Go into edit mode, press S and Y to scale on the Y axis, G and Z to move it on the uh, Z axis and you want something like this. Once you have it you can go into the modifiers tab on the right side here and add a subdivision surface modifier. Now this is going to give it that you know stone polished look and now you can go into edit mode and edit these faces. I like to go into vertex select mode and then select these faces first press 1 on your numpad to go into front view and press S and Z to scale on the Z axis and maybe move it out a bit do the same thing with this side uh, you can press Z and then go into wireframe mode so you can select the vert all the vertices and then just move it and you can scale this on the Z axis also now what I like to do is press Control R and add a loop cut in here it's gonna add a bit more, a bit more flow into that now you can go for like a really wide stone or really smaller one um, but I'm gonna go for something like this once you have it you want to press S and Y to scale on the Y axis so it's kinda clipping through your uh, stick and then you can move it up so it's kinda well you don't have to but uh, it depends on what you want I'm gonna keep it like this actually now I'm gonna scale it actually a bit because I think it's too big by just pressing S and then I can scale it on the Y axis a bit more like that now once we got this I actually want to do something with this uh, grip grip was the name I, I got it I got it okay I want to select this face down here press S to scale it so it has a bit of a cone shape like that press control R to add a loop cut and drag it down here now with that you can uh, go into face select mode by pressing 3 again scale this and maybe just like rotate it on one side so kind of has a bit of a twist down there now if you want to make the twist a bit better you can press uh, you can select these vertices and press GG to kinda or double tap G to kinda give it a bit of a smoother look you can do the same thing with this and I think it works a lot better that way okay so the next is going to be those kind of ropes tied here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press um, well I'm going to first select this grip and then press tab shift A and add a cube once I got the cube I'm just gonna scale it down to something like this press control R add a loop cut here press control R add a loop cut here then I'm going to press 2 to go into edge select mode and here I'm going to shift right click to select these um, kind of edges right there and press S shift Z to scale it to something like this alright once you got that you can press L while hovering over it to select it press S Z to scale on the Z axis something like that and move it up I want to move it till about here okay well while, while I'm here I'm gonna press R to rotate and Y to rotate on the Y axis and rotate to something about this size now you can go to wireframe mode by pressing Z and once in here you can go into face select mode by pressing 3 select these faces with C and kind of just move it there where it will fit here also move it down here something like that and then you can press 2 to go into edge select mode alt right click here and then kind of just fixate this to till it where to where till where it looks good can I speak thank you brain and then you can uh, press uh, or right click and shift right click these two press S and Y to scale them do the same thing on the other side S and Y so it kind of fits better and you can do it also here 
Okay, now I can hover over it, over it and press L, Shift D, rotate around Y by pressing R and Y. Once I got this, I can press G to move it like that. Okay, once you got this, it's pretty good, but uh, you want to fix it a bit. So select, while well, having this select, press S and Y to scale it a bit. And then you can again do the same thing, except scaling it in, you're going to scale it out a bit. I like that and also you're gonna take this one and s or these ones kind of like in the middle and scale and Y something like that try and get try and get it so it covers up this thing we can also do it is press uh, or select this grip by pressing L and those S and Y might help a lot uh, like it did help me here and now you just want to play with these ropes so they look good just kind of move them and uh, until they you know are covering itself up and don't do it because that's already okay you can learn from this okay like that i'm gonna say these this is just this is not too hard i guess all you do it something like that you just gonna do the same thing on the other side something like that okay i'm gonna scale these in the white bits so this way you can scale them that's pretty much what i'm doing um here it's really not going to control r and look up and then you know you can kind of move based on this one and then you can like play more than that much easier something like that and then you got it okay now you can color it by using materials or using your own textures before you color anything you need to join these two together because you have one uh, head and you got this grip so select the head apply the uh, modifier and then shift right click onto the grip control J to merge them and then you got one model and I can color it a lot easier and export it maybe to something else I'm gonna go for colors like this and that's pretty much it you can render it, you can export it, you can do anything you want with it uh, and maybe you want to rename it here to like a stone age X or something and then you're done that's it